In 1872, the United States, a country that had not yet seen its first centennial, established Yellowstone as the first national park in the world. President Ulysses S. Grant signed Yellowstone into existence and a new concept was born. And with it, a new way for people to preserve and protect the best of what they had for the benefit and enjoyment of future generations. Yellowstone Lake is one of the largest high altitude lakes in North America and is centered over the Yellowstone Caldera, the largest supervolcano on the continent. In the southwest area of the lake, the West Thumb geothermal area is easily accessible to visitors. Geysers, fumaroles, and hot springs are found alongside and even in the lake. The federally funded Hayden Geological Survey of 1871 provided the most detailed and scientific descriptions of Lake Yellowstone in the pre-park era. The Hayden party, 34 men in all, launched Annie, the first boat to sail on Yellowstone Lake, and began exploring the islands and shoreline. The first photographs of the lake were taken by William Henry Jackson and paintings by Thomas Moran, along with the Geological Survey, played a prominent role in convincing the U.S. Congress to pass legislation creating Yellowstone Park. Yellowstone Lake is the foundation of the Greater Yellowstone Ecosystem, the largest remaining nearly intact ecosystem in the Earth's northern temperate zone. It provides the key ingredients to a large and complex food chain that sustains many of the animals for which Yellowstone is so famous. In 1894, the Lacey Act was passed by Congress, giving full protection to wildlife in Yellowstone Park, with the exception of wolves and coyotes. This act paved the way for future wildlife and environmental movements. From the days of the Hayden Expedition to the present, Yellowstone Lake continues to be a source of rich, diverse, and sometimes surprising information that is rare among the world's great lakes. Lake Yellowstone and Yellowstone National Park, in all its preserved glory, is like no other place on Earth and must be seen and experienced to be believed and enjoyed. <laughs>